Hey, welcome to My Week After the Show. Nolan is getting so excited for the 2016 election because he thinks pot is going to be on the ballot. I think he will. And not real pot. I mean, the issue of pot will be on the ballot. <laughs> yeah, no, I think there's no question it's going to be on the ballot in 2016. You've got a couple of petition drives going. Uh, if it follows the pattern of other states, you won't have any trouble getting the signatures. And I believe it gets on the ballot. It passes. I can't see it oh, not I think passing. it'll pass. Yeah, I think it'll pass. And, and it's unfortunate that it'll pass. I, this is, I actually don't have a, a big problem with decriminalizing um, uh, marijuana. I think there's a, there's a lot of research that shows that the war on drugs doesn't work and <laughs> causes all kinds of other problems. I, I object to doing it through a referendum, though, uh, because there's a lot of infrastructure, legal infrastructure, that needs to be built before you do that. How are you going to deal with uh, uh, things like uh, intoxication uh, issues around driving or operating heavy equipment or being on the job if you're a public official? Um, we don't know how to test for, for marijuana use the way we can and for alcohol, for instance. Maybe we shouldn't be, and maybe we shouldn't be testing for either one of them. Maybe we should be uh, making those kind of decisions based on behavior uh, rather than a blood alcohol can, uh, level. Because right now, well, we got a 0 .08 blood alcohol yeah. level, and I, I'm, my contention is that the effect is different individual to individual. By, and so I think we should be prosecuting behavior not arbitrary blood levels, but you get back to the decriminalization yeah, I level. That, I don't think the the because that's so subjective. Think, yeah, I mean, well, one person subjective. thinks that that she's well, he's not. He's kind of high. Exactly. He's not that yeah, high. Exactly. We should have him you use be, heavy machinery. You should be punished for what you're doing. No, you're no. driving bad. There no, should no, no. be. Yeah. Hey, there are people who are driving bad who are stone cold sober. Yeah, there's I mean, also I mean, people <laughs> who are who are, are sober and capable of driving who will blow more than a point oh eight. But back to the issue of marijuana, <laughs> you say decriminalization, right? Legalization, I think, is the issue. You don't want to make the same mistake this time as we did with medical marijuana, where we say the you we're going to legalize the use, but we kept sort of the trappings, the criminal trappings uh, f f from when it was illegal. But you can't, you can't do that as a state. I mean, this is still You've got to uh, reconcile this federal is laws still a, come along. Uh, a drug that the federal government right. considers absolutely off limits uh, under any circumstances. And so uh, that's the only thing you can do. I think state really by state they're going to blow the feds. Decriminalize it. Uh, state by state they're going to blow the feds out of the water. If we do the same thing we do, did with medical marijuana where, oh, we're growing it in backyard plots and shell yeah. selling it out of head shots, it's head, head shops, it's going to be a mess. This needs to be handled just like yeah. alcohol. Commercially produced where the content is regulated, yes. sold through licensed stores, retail outlets, get it out of the off the streets, out of the criminal elements altogether, or you're going to have a mess. Has, has Colorado done a good job? No, oh, no I, I think they're, I, mean, I think they've, they're a good example of rushing into this without having kind of making it up thought through along. what it would, what it would, what it would look like. One of the problems that they're having out there is that uh, the sales are not just for smokable uh, marijuana, but but ingestible. You know, uh, you can buy pot brownies. Uh, well, if you eat three or four pot brownies, that's a lot more than smoking one one joint. And people are showing up in hospitals sick because they didn't know that they were eating uh, too much. And again, I don't have a problem with any of this. I, I'm saying. The, you know, you need some forethought to say, of course. here's how we're going to handle this so that these the kind of problems don't crop up. I, but that, you can do that in the authorizing legislation. See, I think and that's what, the problem. And the mistake we made with medical marijuana is in the authorizing legislation, we couldn't get over our sort of ambivalence about whether we wanted it to be legal <laughs> or not legal. So we kept, you know, we, we, we sent mixed signals to the people who thought they were using it illegal and get a lot of people arrested. Well, see, and one question is, what happens if... if if people vote for this in 2016, it passes, and then the legislature, which I mean, this is not a legislature that's going to be enthusiastic no, about and that's this. The problem. What that's if they? Uh, what the if they just? What if they just sit there and, and say, "Well, we'll get to it and that's at my, some point." And that's my worry, or that they'll half halfway ride it and and make a mess out. I think they got to get once the people say we want this to be legal, they've got to implement it in a way that the content can be controlled, so you don't have the situation. Uh, you're talking about, and that it's sold through a licensed network of dealers yeah. rather well, than Well, they're doing folks, that in Colorado. You know, out of your own. Absolutely. We have stores uh, full mm -hmm. of uh, different 
you know, brands and, and things like that. That part's working, and, and the, the money part is working for the state. I mean, uh, they're in a, a position now where they have to pass legislation to be able to keep uh, the money that they're getting off taxes because it exceeds what legally government can uh, can take in in terms of an increase uh, year over year. So it, it's a boon uh, to, to uh, the state coffers, but but it's the it's the again the legal infrastructure. If you are driving while you're smoking pot, if you are uh, you know if you're uh, driving poorly, then you should be arrested for or ticketed for driving <laughs> poorly. <laughs> I mean, that's simple. That is a simple but, piece but, to get by. But if, if you're, you're driving drunk, driving you go to jail. Boy. It's different. <laughs> and it's different. All right. Punish the behavior. The number, <laughs> I mean, I can't believe you say that with the number of people who die from drunk driving <laughs> accidents. I mean, wh why, why shouldn't we regulate that? Well, we, uh, regulate what? Pot, um, pot content in your room? Well, yeah, for the same reason. way you do with alcohol. For, for one reason, you're... You're it's not harder to measure. Get as impaired on pot as you are well, on alcohol. See, I would argue. Well, I, I don't think you can. Can you make that blanket statement, or what do, you, what do you have it's to back like that Willie up? Nelson I guess. Like Willie Nelson said, he said, no, no point smoking. Wait, are we quoting Willie Nelson he in a pot it, debate? Uh, There's no point uh, <laughs> smoking more dope once you're already high, because you don't get any higher. You just get lower on dope. And <laughs> <laughs> wow, that seems to be a really appropriate place to you put that wrap up. Wrap uh. up the web, web segment, and I, I bet you that'll be the uh, campaign. I can't wait to see the campaign for uh, for that for uh, 2016 well, I, then it'll be interesting to see who's funding for it again mm -hmm. all right that's my week <laughs> after the show see you next week there's so many things